Hello, my country people. Welcome back to the news. The NLC president, Joe Ajuro, gives updates on the nationwide strike after meeting with the federal government. Guys, let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. So we know that uh, just about 24 hours to the nationwide strike, the federal government decided to have a meeting with the TUC and the NLC. Uh -huh. But then the organized labor leaders in the country have resolved to consult with organs and workers first on the first line of action to be taken on the impending strike action after Sunday's meeting with the federal government delegation. It will be recalled that in a bid to advert the strike action threatened by the Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, the federal government held a meeting with the labor leaders in Abuja on Sunday. According to a statement, according to a statement by the Minister of Information, Mohammed Idris, after the meeting, some co-sessions were made by the government, including the 35,000 provisional wage increment for all treasury-paid federal government workers for six months, commitment to fast-tracking the provisions of a compressed natural gas as the CNG bus to ease public transportation difficulties associated with the removal of PMS subsidy, the removal of VAT on diesel for the next six months, and the commencement of payment of 75,000 to 50 million household, at least 25,000 per month for a three month period from October to December 2023. The government also said workers need to be at work for the, for the concessions to be implemented. Reacting to the government's positions, the NLC president, Jua Juru, said they are taking the government's promise to the workers for consideration before a final decision would be announced on going ahead with the proposed strike or otherwise. He said... They don't really have much to say, just as they have met with the federal government. They've had issues, meetings here and there. But the government, at the end of the day, they end up not fulfilling their promises. So they said, let them speak with the Nigerian workers first, so that uh, they would know what to do next. The labor delegation at the meeting include the NLC president, Joe Ajuru, the Deputy President of the TUC, Dr. Tomi uh, Itim Okon, Okon, and the NLC General Secretary, Ima Ubo Aja, and also the TUC General Secretary, Taro, among others. Well, my country people, it is so clear that the federal government meeting with the NLC and the TUC leaders Finally, it ends in deadlock because they were not responsive to the government and the president's demand. They did not respond to any of it. I know, unlike before, the federal government, they're always fond of having closed-up meetings with the TUC and the NLC leaders. And at the end of the day, they would want to call off the strike either a day to the strike or two days to the strike. That's what we've been seeing. So the strike now is, we are not even certain for now if the strike would hold because the NLC are yet to stand on their grounds on insisting that they would still embark on this strike. Because I'm sure the meeting with the federal government and the NLC is to make sure that the labor cause of the strike is to make sure that they call off the strike 
So the chief of staff to the president, Femi Gabaja Miller, who led the federal government's team, announced after the meeting that the government and members of the organized labor reached agreement with the labor officials. Uh, they would take it back to their respective organs for ratification. That's what they said, that they would take it back for the workers so they can put heads together and decide what and how it would be good for the people. You see, these two labor centers, that's the NLC and the TUC, they've threatened to embark on a nationwide strike. That's an indefinite strike on October 3rd, 2023, to protest the fuel subsidy removal policy of the federal government. And then, my country people, the labor unions now, they are, they've urged for a higher wage award. And the federal government team have promised that President Bernard Metinibu will put this into consideration. And they've also talked about how they would, you know, share this palliative of a thing so it would get to the hands of the masses. But you see, these labor unions, the NLC, the TUC, they've all, you know, really uh, given up hope. And that's why they vowed to go on a strike because it seems that the government, the federal government is taking them for a ride. So we are now looking at the NLC and the TUC if they would consider the offers by the federal government with a view of suspending the planned strike we are yet to know on the outcome of that but for now the federal government has announced 25 percent that's 25,000 only as a provisional wage increment for all treasury paid federal government workers for six months but then Nigerians have reacted. Only enriching yourself with strike threats. This man, you seem to be corrupt too. Who are you trying to deceive? Who speaks for them in the ongoing negotiations? Look at Nigerians. And later, this NLC Nigeria's toothless bulldog. Always good at backing, but never good at biting. I support the NLC. But then, humans, that is their nature. We know at the end of the day, after taking bribe, they will start saying rubbish. This NLC president, Joe Adiro, looks very hungry. And I tell you, such a person can be easily bought over with a little peanut. I don't think there is any serious-minded Nigerian that is taking the NLC leadership seriously. They are not working for Nigerians, so but for themselves. How many people are working in the federal establishment? Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So my country people, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.